Thank you, madam. Enjoy your stay. What's the purpose of your visit? I want to visit my mother-in-law. You won't be looking for work of any kind. Just a visit, man, that's all. Your mother, you say? No, my mother-in-law. That's the name and address on the envelope. Yes, well, if you'd like to fill out one of these cards and bring it back to me. Yeah. Well, where do I fill it in? Anywhere but not here. Next, please. Before I bring it back to the end of the queue. Next, please. Thanks. Good Everyone's leaving his gun with us. Give him a receipt, please. Okay. All right, sir.
gone now, Freddy. I can't find him anywhere. There's a big bloke back there. Would that be him? Nah, that wouldn't. Holy mother, you know what it is? <laughs> I guess you check your piece, huh? Oh, very clever. You must know our gun law, Mr. Wright. He knows every damn gun law of every That's a very lovely mechanism, Mr. Riker. Well, yeah, we could let you have one, you no. say, Freddie. Oh, you know. 1,500 by 1,500. Yeah, no, what, what do you say? Oh, that's, that's You're obviously very attracted by it. Yeah, but it's the belt hanging out of it. Mr. Roy has personally recommended it. Yeah, he's right. You know, we're going to be in the bushes in the jungle. We can't have it. Don't they'll say anything. Just listen to what he has to say, all right? You don't have to convince him, Mr. Jones. A magazine time. Okay. Although we in Britain are not actually fighting side by side with our English-speaking allies in Southeast Asia, our hovercraft, outstanding examples of British inventiveness and technological achievement, have now been adapted to new military uses. Hmm. Won't get me in one of them. Better than Walker. Yeah, but if you stick a spear in it, you crock it up. This remarkable land-to-water and water-to-land vehicle can penetrate into swamp areas hitherto inaccessible to any other modern military craft, thus furnishing an outstanding weapon for counter-guerrilla and counter-insurgency warfare. A large array of attack weapons and radar detection devices have made what was once solely a domestic vehicle into a practical attack craft without fear for your use in your Captain special Riker. area. I mean, you were at Oeri in 69 at the time of the collapse. I thought so. I can hardly believe it. You look... <laughs> Well, you must remember me. Alistair St. George of the St. George Wilson Flintlock Corporation. Look, this is my partner, Harold Wilson. <coughs> How do you do, Harold? From what I'd heard, I thought you'd left the business. Yeah, so did I. Well, I know what you mean. We must all eat. That's right. <laughs> Price quotations, delivery dates, and other sales requirements will be furnished on request. We've got clients here. Can we be of any help? You're a bit late. We've, uh, more or less tied up with Ben Rollins. So anyway, this crusading reporter comes up to me and says, doesn't my conscience bother me selling so many guns? And I say to him, now listen, boy, I said, a gun is an inanimate object. I mean, I just sell them. I've got nothing to do with how people use them. Oh, no. That son of a bitch. <laughs> he gets all the cream. Customers interested in this adapted vehicle can see a practical demonstration this afternoon by arrangement with our sales officer after this showing.
made bigger. <laughs> you still working for old Rolex? Yes, still rolling, yes. <laughs> and you, you're... Uh... No, no, I'm no longer in the private sector. Huh? My government has generously made me head of its purchasing commission. You? <laughs> steering anymore. Look at this. Come on. Let's find our way back. Okay. Well, listen, I'll let you go first again, okay? <laughs> That was really great. You know, I can't wait to go after the real thing again. Stand it at all, Freddy. These chicks don't have any taste anymore. Sarika, do you want to call the deal off? Oh no, no. I mean, uh, I signed your contract, didn't I? Yes. I had an opportunity to speak about you with an old classmate of mine. Oh yeah, who was that? Your last employer. <laughs> the Colonel. What's he doing these days? Oh, I think he would prefer to keep that a secret, even to you. But he's a great fan of yours. And after what he said about you, I'm indeed flattered that you came out of retirement for me. 
especially after you turned on so many others. After two years of retirement, I found I just couldn't afford it. I'll fill in the details so you know where you stand. The CIA, it's bloody amazing. If the Americans don't want to take an official stand, the CIA just get Ben Rawlings to do it. And everybody knows it. That means they must have approved of me then. Oh yes, they were positively enthusiastic about you. You wouldn't want the most powerful nation in the world to change their mind about you. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, I suppose they gave you a British export license as well. I'm not worried about formalities. We can always persuade the authorities concerned to look the other way. But aren't you afraid of being branded as some kind of lackey of imperialism? Uh, their only interest is that we put out a government that shows uh, signs of flirting with a different imperialism. You see, we suit their purpose, and they implement ours. Well, just say we win this war. What happens if we can't get the Americans out? That's not for you and I to decide, Mr. Riker. The people will. People? Come on, you know what happens to people in revolution. They just get shot. Mr. Riker? Yeah? How do you intend to pick your white mercenaries? They're already picked. I expect to be able to approve your key men. Mr. Riker, I don't want this revolution disgraced by raping and looting. Look, if you hire men to kill people, Mr. Dambodi, you can't be particular about what they do in their spare time. Does that include Mr. Jones? Yeah, wait till you see the others. Hey, right. There's that kid, Smith. Hey, Smith! Hold on, will you? He's the one that introduced me to Bradshaw. Hey, Wright. What's the matter with you, Wright? Are you deaf or something? Hey, listen, man, give me a break. What do you want to do? I right, see so you got a break. I guess we're going to do something. Why don't we go out? Listen, Temple Smith will take us out and show us a tour of the town, get some chicks together. Well, you know, whatever you want to do, Wright. I've been here for weeks, man. I can't tell you what a good time I've had. Dry up, Jesse, will you? Well, listen, baby, if you change your mind. Yeah, I'm going to bed. We don't want to take too expensive because uh, okay. guys, we're going to lose them. Well, yes, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hit somebody in the pinky, you knock them back 15 yards. And you hit yeah. someone anywhere with one of those, and the shock will come. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. That's a very lovely mechanism, Mr. Riker. Very lovely indeed. Marvelous to have. Yeah. The Americans spent millions on developing it. Millions. Excuse me, Mr. Bradshaw. Mr. Rawlings is in his office now. He'd like you to come up with this. I'd like to know just what you have against the M16. Well, it's over engineered for a start. Engineered precisely for jungle warfare. That was my understanding, too. Isn't it, Mr. Rack? Drop it in the mud and uh, you'd have to send it back for a bench job. Besides, it sucks. 
This way, please, gentlemen. Ah, had a good day shopping yesterday. Buy any armored hovercraft, eh? <laughs> uh, anything of ours take your fancy? Mr. Riker isn't very taken without M16s. So. I agree 100% with Mr. Riker. You understand, Simmons? Yes, Ben. But of course. How many of our boys in Vietnam were found with their guts torn out, their hands frozen like they were fiddling with the damn thing to get it working before a VC bayonet got him and then... Too late. The Pentagon Arms Commission once subpoenaed me for my opinion. Did you know what I said? I said the best advice I could give to one of our boys is, if he finds a VC corpse with a good, sturdy Russian Takarov STV grab it and toss his M16 into the nearest convenient swamp. Gentlemen, Orbit has inventory in Germany, Spain, Holland, you name it. Or we can get stuff for you from our North Carolina warehouses inside 24 hours. Now, how's that? When you want to reorder, we've got machines that'll adapt pretty standard caliber to anything. Would you believe me when I tell you we've got more weapons in stock than the combined armies fighting in Southeast Asia, including the USA? May I ask your opinion of the Manlicher Karkonos? Uh, no, Simmons, I don't think we can handle the quantity they want. Hey, Manlicher Karkonos. Hey, well, why don't you just buy one? Give it to me. Tell me the guy you want out, and, uh, pow, it saves you the cost of a whole revolution. Huh? What do you pack these things with? Cordite. Uh, no, sir. We don't? No, sir. S325. Oh, yes, S325. You ever tried using a heavier grain in them? Have we? No, sir. The heat corrodes the barrels too quickly, sir. Oh, the corrodes where it hits more quickly, too. Gentlemen, a little token of your visit to our establishment in our special presentation cases. Mr. Mabodi, Mr. Riker, uh, as an expert, you'll appreciate the quality of that weapon. Of course, sir, you all understand that we operate strictly within the laws of the country in which we do business. It'll be necessary for you to get the export licenses on everything we supply. I presume that's all in hand. Oh, we have been given certain assurances. Yes. Yes, I'm sure you have, after all. Your friends are our friends. <laughs> There is something wrong with my if the rest of the world had a policy like ours, <laughs> there would be no wars at all. Hand me that champagne, will you? There would be no wars at all. The French poor. No morals, no ethics. First, sell anything if it's in the interest of national economy. <laughs> this is the least important. Who is going to get it and what are going to be the consequences? The, the Americans are worse because the whole thing is in so much bigger scale. Ben Rawlings says he made so many millions each day out of the six-day war. It is a pity it didn't stretch to six weeks. <laughs> but I must have absolutely firm delivery date. The firm date is the date that Timmy gets his export license. You name it, Timmy. Export from England is no difficult. It is a problem of 24 hours. But if you want me to arrange re-export, that is not so easy. There's no problem, though. I mean, the extra items can be on the official order form on this side. If they don't get it the other side, well, who's no? Huh? <laughs> and perhaps one of my ships will develop engine trouble just off the Ivory Coast en route for Stockholder. <laughs> Come on, chaps. Job should have been finished an hour ago. Well, I feel better, don't you? Yeah. 
a rough choice. Get out of the way. I'll see you there, Freddy. Uh, Jeremy, look, I, I better go with the Freddy. Keep him happy. Look, you take my car, and if anybody breaks down, you can show them the way, okay? I'm sure you trust me with it. Oh, I don't, but what can I do? Away you go, we'll follow behind. with me. Uh, Will you open this? Uh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll get the key. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, it's all right. I'll get it. I'll get it. Smith's got any tea here. No, but there's actual car. You yeah. ask him, he left some tea there. Hey, I mean, I, I told you to be very careful. sorry about this. But for God's sake, where, where, what, what did you do with this? Hey, well, we had a spot of trouble with the police. The police? Yes. Oh, uh, you're going to have to ditch him. 
What do you, what do you mean? I mean, you reported it solo. Right? Well, well, you'll have to report it solo. Oh, I see. Send him back in your to me. You remember. Uh, Mr. Smith, yes, Mr. Yes. Smith. Look, my men. Three days? Yes. Uh, no longer mine. Okay. The staff will yeah. back on mine. I'll go and open some boxes while they're there. We'll have to check some guns out. We'll get that over with. Anyway, they didn't uh, muck about the ammunition this time. They gave us 62. Nine millimeter, nine millimeter two case. Seen that stuff? Absolutely no done some more, Mr. Ryder. Almost the latest. Have you fired one of those before, Jesse? I was just thinking, what's your grandmother going to say when she finds five thousand of those? Oh, there? no worry about her. These cruises for aging millionaires go on for ages. <laughs> what's she going on for? You get the stuff or what? <laughs> Something like that. Hey. Just, just keep it pointing that way. <laughs> Leave your gloves on, it won't hurt. I'm sticking on automatic so you've got a good chance. Five, 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 five. Ready? Yes. Yeah. yes. Hang on a sec, give us a stick. I got one. What are you waiting for? There you go. Oh, terrific. <laughs> hey, you're going to come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you a little That bit was pretty close, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Very good. Hey, good. You're there not you danger here, don't worry about it. How about you? Yeah, I'll give you a good yeah, Generally, when you're first out of the box. Very good. Hey, come on, Tom. Very good. All right, go. All right. There you go. Come on, Tom. 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 Okay, let's try and make... Uh... Split the difference. Or two? Yeah. <laughs> Only two? Come on, boy. Come okay, back. I'll try it. On single shot. Come on. Ha! Be careful! Jeez. Hey, still swimming. Daddy! Dog. Can you uh, pull over the next corner, please? Hey, Jesse, I've got a great idea. I'll organize a farewell party for you. We could use Elaine's place. <laughs> Give me a ring in the morning when you feel better, okay? See you. <clears throat> Almost make me feel all 
sure everything's, you know, cool with you, man. You okay? Sure. Only in it for the money, right? Whatever. Okay. Um, shall I bring him in? <laughs> How much time we got? You know, we're meeting a couple of other arms dealers just to keep it legit. We've got about 15 minutes. Yeah. Anytime you're ready. Here he is. All good morning. Yeah, good morning. Did you ask him? No. Oh. Uh, I, I can fly a helicopter. I mean, well, I, th I thought you might be using helicopters out there, you know, sure. in Africa. Yeah, he wants to go. I figured we could use him for something, supplies or uh, corpse detail or something. All right? Sorry. Yeah, why not? Ready? Hey, listen. <laughs> You've never seen this row before. Recognize him? You can fly helicopters, huh? Yeah. That's yeah, Rusty, that crazy son of a bitch with the flamethrower, remember? Knocked off that hole. <laughs> Burned up all those thatched huts. Do you need those things? Yeah. You've never seen them. I've seen them. Let's get out of there. Where's my coat? This is a gorilla that gave us some trouble. A lot of flies yeah. on it. Yeah, I gotta have some more copies of this stuff made up. It's fantastic. Look at this. Here's a pile of ivory we confiscated. Wow, that must have been worth something. It sure was. Hey, Not uh, only that, we used to rip off the gun. pick up something. I'll meet you downstairs, all right? All right. Now, you see, you can tell by that flagpole. I think that all at Windsor this week. Uh -huh. yeah. This is what they all come to see, sir. The ten soldiers, huh? Ten soldiers? I'd have you know they're the household cavalry. And they've got a bloody fine war record. Bloody fine. So that's good, huh? If it wasn't for them, you and me wouldn't be here, sir. Listen, where do you find some people around this town? I mean, where they live. Oh, I know what you mean, sir. Gentlemen more like yourself. More here, more or less. Portobello Road. <laughs>
Excuse me, sir. You okay? So what's all the pies looking for? Uh, just for the She's great. She's out of Right? What should she do? Should she just ring him? Yeah, just ring, right? And then get through and say she wants to interrupt the pad, right? Because there's a pad there anyway, right? Okay. For the skirt. The skirt is about six kilos. I got it. see about uh, flats you've got to rent here. Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, my wife usually takes care of this matter, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll lead the way, okay? You don't sound like you're from uh, England. Uh -huh. No, that's uh, the result of 18 reasonable years in a place called Scranton, Pennsylvania, where the hard coal comes from. A couple of disastrous years in New Haven, Connecticut, where Yale happens to be. And, uh, some rather sordid uh, years beneath the dirty palms and the smog of Los Angeles, California, and then uh, the bliss of England, the beautiful place I came and decided to stay, that's all. You don't speak very highly Sorry. of America. No. Oh, I don't, don't hate... No, anybody. I, I really think I've got what you want. Okay, Terry, listen, I want to just let him see the place here. Yes. I'm, I don't want, hate anybody to misunderstand my feelings. I feel very friendly to the home country. It's just they said, you're unfriendly. The excrement hit the fan and they said, get out. I had to go. I really didn't have that much choice. Oh, this is a terrific feature. Instant access to the uh, food supply. Uh, actually, when we decided to take in uh, that place, I was the one who regretted more than my wife and then giving up this kitchen. I'm the one who was enslaved to the stove. A bit more than she is. She doesn't quite believe in it. I'm holding anyhow. That's a matter of principle with her. Yeah, I'll discuss that with you. Look, this is fine. It's, it's all right with you all taking it. Stand. No, look, look at it. Hey, huh, here we are. Everything works. It's all electric. You can cook for 40 if you have 40 friends. It's a question. These are got all these are uh, the things one needs. Uh, something out here. This should be a, people seem to like. Well, if it's all right with you, uh, I'd like to take it. I think you'll like this garden very much. We invariably share these with the people who... Uh, Wherever it is, has the flat downstairs. Uh, Mr. Riker, did you ever read uh, Deer Park by Norman Mailer? Who? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, tell you, it's one thing to be married to a woman whose campaign in life is for the perfect female orgasm. You've got a lot of explaining to the other boys right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Love for really beautiful. There's Romeo and Juliet. Swing uh, Justin. Harry and Jackie. I used to collect butterflies, and I escalated. Now, whenever I get in an argument with my wife, she uh, immediately threatens to get a big contact. That's Sam the Hegel. He's quite a man with the ladies. My wife says he's my trapped masculinity symbol. You'll have to meet my wife, Mr. Riker. She'll be in around tea time. Yoo-hoo! Oh, there's a very familiar tone. You'll meet somebody in a moment. Hello. Oh, hello, baby. How are you? Mm. What have you been oh, doing? Oh, it's tea. Wow. I'll bake the, bake the olives for you. This is uh, your landlady, Hi. Mr. Riker. How do you do? Uh, how do you do? Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, oh you've already brought me some tea. Oh, wow. Do you know what they did to me today? They turned up with this incredible poem, this incredible obscene poem, you see, because I said, bring a, bring a poem of your choice and we'll discuss it. And they sort of all sat there looking at me to see what I was going to do, so I discussed it. Forty minutes they went on, waiting for me to crack up, and I didn't crack up. Did you say landlady? Yes, darling. I'm afraid you've got the status back again. I'm uh, not a student this time. I'm grown up man. Mr. Riker. Hey, by the way, I'd better pay you what, uh, what I owe you. Uh, 20 pounds be enough down to begin with? Uh, yes, that would be, uh, uh... You can work it out from there. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's, that's right. Well, what do I? Uh, I'll be here. I'll see you, Mr. Riker. Yeah. You've been doing your thing again. Yes, babe. I'm surprised you want to live in our basement, Mr. Riker. Well, it doesn't really matter. I just put my head down and... Uh, really? To enjoy the view out. Uh, Mr. Riker, what do you do exactly? It's difficult to explain. But uh, one day when we've got more time, I'll... Do you know where it is? <laughs> Got 
have the team with you. Yeah. Very good. Hi. I hope you won't, I won't cause too much trouble here. Here she is, darling. Hello. We've got you to thank for this beauty. Thank you. Yeah. Nobody needs any introductions, presumably. It's very pleasant. Fine. Fine. Great. Great, great. You like the pair? Great, great. Yeah? You know, if you want. Thank you. It's okay. Take any of those you want. Let's get that one off. Yeah. yeah. How long can we have this? No, with an H, which means yes, I think. No. How long can we have this? Huh? Oh. Well, I, if you can get them back well, tonight after the performance. Cut it out. Because okay. she has a dozen of them. It's just yeah. sort of yeah. size yeah. symbols, you know. Yeah. Get the gear together. Yes. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Oh, traditional demons. Here's a group. Japanese demons. No, 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 darling. Just don't stab yourself with the horns. That's all. <laughs> right, okay. Right. Okay. okay. And I'll see you all at the meeting tonight, right? Yeah. And as a matter of fact, I can pick up those things, yeah? Yeah. yeah. What about, do you want to come sign me? Why don't you come down? There you go. You have to. You're yeah. a member of the community now. Yeah, come on. You come over. <laughs> Very nice of you. Yeah, yeah. come on. Okay. They, they don't do a bad show. I've seen them. It's not bad at all. About a half an hour. Okay, right. kids? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. We'll see you. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. So. Just, Nine okay, five. I'll take them out. We're not anti-Russian or anti-United States or anti-anybody. The mass represent governments of countries. If now every one of you would point the gun at the government, as you're now representing governments, that you fear, and then hold it. When you're in the position, hold it. And this, we believe, is the state of the planet. And this is like where it's at right now. Our proposition is that people take the masks off and see if they can go on pointing the gun at one another. Our proposition again is that the British police force, which acts to Britain as most armies act to their various countries, is not armed and it works. There are more murders in Texas in one week than there are in Britain in a whole year. If the United States disarmed, if they actually disarmed, yeah. one thing we would be certain of there would not be nuclear holocaust. Where's your guarantee? Just there is no guarantee. You can't change human nature. Mr. Chairman, we seem to be having a private discussion down here. I'm trying to give you an opportunity to voice your opinion. Unless everybody takes one side, they take the other. That is not our concern here, is it? Good people who maintain it has nothing to do with them. And if they've got a point of view, that's fair enough, but let them respect my point of view the as well. The third power of a silent majority. Basically, every act is a political act. Bullet in any black body that has an English trademark. There is no such thing as a white person. There is a pinky person. There but does a black mind. man have the opportunity to have a political career over here? Do you take a value which is not economical? Everybody got to be free. Middle or statistical. Yeah, we all want to be free. Or sociological. Yeah, be free. If you do nothing about it and our governors send arms to South Africa. But we should export arms to South Africa. If you don't take a stand, about South Africa. And demonstrate against arms to South Africa. Take part in selling arms to South Africa. South Africa. South African. But why can't the blacks get together and be strong for once again? We're always slavish. We can't have anything in heritage. We have less than two months. They don't have the means to take nothing. They've got two hands. Yeah, you try taking a gun from a man without a gun yourself. If Irish people could do it, why the hell can't black people? They're just as good as the bloody Irish. They're still doing it, aren't we trying to get that? Yeah. He was coming out for Robert. Yeah. Bang, he went down. 
And if Teddy's blown out, then, well, you know, it's like, it's back to Nixon time. Anyway, uh, can I get your telephone? Yes, <laughs> on the corner. He's been married three or four times, and it's only to make it legal. You are still That's all. And then what's the good of making What's the good of what you're married to? You're in a middle-aged death. There's a phone in here. Thanks. Why aren't you out joining in the party with the others? So you'd rather read my book. Doesn't have to be that interesting, does it? No. Autobiography of a yogi. I've met a few of those guys on my travels. You study yoga, though. No. Yeah. I'd like to learn about it, though. I need this book when I'm finished. <laughs> I'll wait till you finish. Hello? Yeah, no, room 937, please. Mr. Jones. Why don't we go out somewhere? This is where I live. You mean that woman that, uh... I mean, that lady that showed me down here, she's your mother. That's my stepmother. Uh... She must have met the phone next door. So let's go out anyway. I can't. I have to get up early for school. Ah, so you little schoolgirl. Huh? Didn't mean it like that. I meant, uh... Can I, uh, call you up or something? Yeah. I've got your number anyway. Sorry for the start. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Mr. Brad, your telephone call. Over there, sir. Bradshaw here. Hello, Freddy. It's Jesse. I'm here. Jesse? Well, where the devil are you? Here. What do you mean you're here? Where? Just turn around slowly and look huh? up. What are you doing up there? Now get back on the phone and turn around. They're looking. Oh. Oh. Now, what the hell are you playing at? I'm here, but Reich is not. He's left. You know who it is? <laughs> the guy who stumbled into your room last night. Oh, yeah. Listen, I want it on. Uh, can I see you tonight? Yeah, I can. <sighs> now look, this, this, this won't do, Jesse. You tell me he was reliable. He's got a lot of important people to meet. Can I come around and pick you up there? Going to Buckingham Palace with my class this morning. I was in some kind of mood or something. And I tried to call you the first thing. No, this is Sam. I'm coming up. Yeah, come on.
everything cool? No, it's not cool. I've been on the phone to Ben. They're very upset. Oh, come on. What did you do that Look, to? I had to. I asked you to trust me, Freddy. They want us down there for a meeting today. I'm not my brother's keeper and besides... They want us all down there for a meeting today. But, Freddy, it's the weekend. Oh... Have you been up long? Just a couple of hours. Hey, listen, do you want to take the girls out this afternoon? No, I'm standing home. You can go out, you know. I mean, the desk will take messages. No. Nope. If he doesn't call soon, this whole goddamn deal will go right down the toilet. And right on top of him. If you did that in Africa, about a hundred of those mothers would jump out of the wall and uh, follow you home. <laughs> did that ever happen to you? Uh, no, but it happened to a guy I once knew. What did he do? Well, he's a strange kind of guy. He used to uh, give them money. You know, they'd follow him and he'd get so bloody uptight that he'd start kicking him to death. What kind of friend is that?
if I knew you were coming, I'd have been uh, here earlier. Do you need anything? A glass of water or something? What about a little bit of hope for your friend? Huh? What kind of help do you need? Well, I don't know. Get the grub out of the oven for a start. There's nothing in there. What do you mean there's nothing in there? That's why I set in the table. I thought you put it in there already. Oh, God. <laughs> Back to fish and chips again, huh? Good day. I'm trying to uh, find Mr. Riker. Ah, well, Mr. Riker occupies the basement flat. Well, thank you very much. Oh, that's quite all right. What's this guy into? He says I want to be. He was reborn and discovered. What's all that about? Riker. <laughs> Who is it? Hey, Jesse! <laughs> hey, listen, Racker. Uh, if two crew cut cats show up looking for you, asking any questions, <laughs> you'd better do remember to use that gold-plated gun, Rollins, baby. Listen, come here. What's the matter with you? No, man, it's too much of a joke. You just blew me a quarter of a million dollars. 
But I just might be able to draw us up level if you're at the docks tomorrow night. Huh? Because that's when we're going to move out. Yeah, yeah. Look, I don't want to hear about it. But look, Racker, let's just go down there and put in an appearance, man. We'll train a few of those clowns, and then we can dust off with the whole commission. I'm much happier here. Hey, have you met Chrissy? Hi. Sure am. <laughs> you just ain't facing reality, huh? Now what's your idea of reality? Money. Tell them what reality is. Um, the American representative to the UN is Shirley Temple. Yeah, work that one out. <laughs> she used to be a good little lover. I mean, but I'm talking about life and death, man. You want a cup of tea? Hmm? Do you want a cup of tea? Hey, Rack, maybe you got the right idea. You got a nice setup here, I'll say that. It's too bad you won't be able to keep it, Mom. Yeah? Because, listen, man, if you're not down in those docks tomorrow night with us, they're not gonna let you. How'd you find out where I was? Smith, we tailed you from the bar. And if we found you, man, they can't be too far behind. Yeah? Oh, listen, man, you've done all this thing before. You've pissed off with these broads. You've gone here, you've gone there. You told me that you were going to come along and we were going to do this thing. Doesn't matter what I originally agreed to, Jesse. You can take over. over. You know that I can't go down there without you, baby. They don't want me, man. They want you. You know, Jesse, you're the loneliest guy in the world. Nothing wrong with me. I know where my head's at. You don't know where your head's at. I don't even know what you're like anymore. Just as a friendly warning. You know, they told me to come down here and take you back. They said, take him back or a piece of him back. Well, you haven't changed much, have you? Well, what can I say, Ray? Right? All I'm asking you. What would you say about doing it my way? I'm listening. Why don't you uh, move over here a bit? We can get back to the house if we follow the bank. You ready? Jesus, I didn't think I was that important. I told you those guys weren't kidding. Okay, well, those boats are going, whether we go with them or not, so why don't we go down and collect? Just tell me how you're going to get me off the spot. You know where these trucks are. Let's go.
Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm a family man. I've got kids. I'll just Look, say you like later. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me? What are you suggesting? Any, sign me up. Sign me up. I've got some rope here. All right, I've got some. Yeah, all this. Right. Okay, come on, get out. Over him, buddy. I got something to talk to you about. Riker, what? Shh. Look, what do you want in here? I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. Look, how dare you break into my house in the middle of the night? Shh. If you wake anybody up, Mr. Jones will have to put him back to sleep again. I don't know any people here. Look, I don't know what you're up to, Riker. Where were you when those guns were moved a second time? <laughs> Where were you when we moved them the third time? Look, we got to ship these things tomorrow. It's been arranged. We've got a deal, Riker. Get to the point, Riker. Is this blackmail? Right on him, Bodie. That's blackmail. But look, man, we've got a deal. Yeah, but this is a new deal. You see, in this deal, you get your little black bag. You fill it up with $125,000, either in Deutschmarks or... Uh, Swiss francs. Swiss francs or dollars. No dollars. No dollars. Just either Deutschmarks or Swiss francs. We're going to call you in the morning. I'm going to tell you where to put it. And the trucks will be there. And uh, you'll be a much happier man. <laughs> Carry on. What you could do? Oh, I don't know. Right. All right, relax, relax. for this transaction. You got the bread. You'll get a reasonable down payment until I'm sure that my guns are in those trucks, Mr. Riker. 125,000 bucks. The guns. After you.
Hey, Mike, support his team. They're all around us. We'll be heading for the airport. Hey, man, have you checked this? Yeah, I checked it. But we're 100,000 short. Hey, listen, man, we're 100,000 short. Yeah, that's all right. They're 100,000 guns short. What do you mean, man? Hey, listen, what are you laying on me? What are you saying? Come on. What do you mean, ladies and gentlemen? What are you trying to say? Look, don't act so airy, Jerry, about this. How come this Shipping is so guns short? around the world are killing innocent people. It's a people, man. What's that got to do with it? What did you do? We haven't got enough money here to get anywhere. Well, get us to where we're going and buy us aeroplane tickets. Hey, wait a minute. Come Tell on. It's a gag. You gave it to the broad. Look, it's none of the things you imagine, man. It's, it, it's something I don't even know what it is myself, you know? Don't tell me what to imagine, man. I get the picture now. Come on. Wait a minute. You're giving me all this crap I about you. The no, you're they giving me all this crap about you. Have it. I get it. You're the one that got rid of me last night because you could get rid of the gun. You're the guy that checked the cash and found out that there wasn't enough of this. And a few weeks' time, you're going to sit out and be happy about it. You said you'd get us off the spot, Riker, we end up with nothing. Look, even if you had the money, Jesse, you'd still have nothing. If you'll calm down, I'll tell you why, man. Look, All right, why? You're asleep, that's why. You don't, you're on the short end of everything. And so am I. And we don't realize it. We're on the wrong side, man. It doesn't work. You want to know why? why? I'll give it to you in one easy oh, reason. Oh, Christ. That old killer instinct, I can see it in the corner of his eyes. What does it feel like now? Oh, I'm sure you want to turn the other cheek, don't you? Oh, there's the old instinct coming out there. It's all right there. Okay, now you understand what I mean. You'd really like to break my leg now, but you're not going to. Nothing I can do, huh? No aggravation, huh? Come on, Riker, doesn't anything affect you? Huh? There's no chance for you. No chance. And by who knows? going to make me a selected target someday, along with you! What'd you think of that one, big boy? Felt like it had a ton of gold in it, didn't it? Come on, Riker, even I've heard of self-defense, man. Get up! 
What'd you think of that, big boy? Well, you're in a great position now, Riker, you know? One more food, you're really home, baby. Come on, Riker, get up. Let's see a little of the old... Just gotta learn peace the hard way. Give us a look at it.